Public art is something most people notice but might wonder, why is it there? I had the opportunity to talk to one local artist and the Tippecanoe Arts Federation about why creating public art is good for quality of life and a community's overall aesthetic. Murals tell a story. Oftentimes that story is a representation of the community. It's a local aesthetic, you know. Every town has a look to it, every place is different and your murals can tell a lot about your, your community. That's why I feel like it's very important to use local artists in particular to do your public art because they are your local voice. Zach Medler is the artist of this mural on Main and 2nd Street in downtown Lafayette. He feels that showcasing local artists is important to telling a community story. As artists, we are involved with every level of people in this community. We work with poor people, we work with rich people, we work with everybody in between. And I think because of that, we have a relevance to the things that we want to say. And being able to do that as public art gives your community an aesthetic that tells a very local story. And it tells who people are in this community. And investing in public artwork can improve the quality of life in underserved communities. We know that when folks see public art, mural specifically, they know it to be a welcoming community, that the leadership within that community cares about their quality of life because they're investing in it. And while these projects are important in urban communities, they can help bring life back into places both big and small. In rural communities where their downtowns used to be very active, but now they're, um, you know, most of them have become ghost towns. Right. So this is a way to activate their downtowns and also to demonstrate to those that are outside that they're here and they're working on their future. All while collaborating with the people who live there. One of the things that the arts are able to do is to not only engage the members of the community who have been there for generations, but then also to get them to provide feedback to us and also um, help lead the program. Tisha Lee says that murals can help spur economic development, neighborhood revitalization, as well as make areas safer by turning something that was once deemed negative into a positive.